interpretations of pictograms. In this series, I'll be explaining my interpretation of a range of pictograms and hieroglyphs. The interpretations reveal a variety of technologies that form a predictable line of technological evolution and scientific advancement. Part 1. Water Electrolysis These three symbols appear together on the stela of the gatekeeper, Marty. Now the top one is representing a body of water. The middle one is the symbol for electricity. And the bottom one is an illustration of some electrodes with a cathode and a node either end. Here's an example of how this process is illustrated today. Water electrolysis is a process which stimulates the separation of water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen by passing an electric current through a solution. The science which underlies this forms an imperative part of several other very useful processes. For example, it's in a process called electrolytic refining. Electrolytic refining is a technique used for the extraction and purification of metals by the process of electrolysis. Metals like copper, nickel, gold, lead, silver and zinc can be purified this way. In the illustration, the anode is made of impure copper while the cathode is made of pure copper. In this process, the solution should contain the salt of whatever metal is being purified. So in this case, we've got a copper sulfate solution. When electric current passes through the electrolyte, pure metal from the anode dissolves into the electrolytic solution and gets deposited at the cathode. The insoluble purities settle down beneath the anode and are referred to as anode mud. Soluble purities remain in the solution. Another use for this science is in electroplating. Electroplating involves coating a surface with a thin layer of metal using an electric current. In the illustration, when the electric current is applied, the copper anode dissolves, releasing copper ions into the solution. These ions are attracted to the negatively charged cathode, the key. The copper ions gain electrons at the cathode and deposit onto the surface of the key forming a thin, uniform layer of copper. So the longer the current is applied, the thicker the copper layer becomes. Other uses for electrolysis include the chloralkali process. This process produces chlorine gas and sodium hydroxide from the electrolysis of salt water. These products are essential for various industrial processes. Electrosynthesis, electrolysis, is used in the synthesis of certain chemicals, such as the production of sodium chlorate. Waste treatment. Electrolysis can treat industrial waste, breaking down harmful chemicals into less toxic substances. So, as you can see, Electrolysis is a very versatile process with a wide variety of applications. The translation of these three symbols tell us that the ancient Egyptians had the ability to perform all of the processes covered in this video. The next episode will be about AC coils. If you enjoy this content, consider subscribing so my new videos find their way to your feed. Thank you for watching.